According to the IBF Championships chairman, Mr. Lindsay E. Tucker, he says that if Kubrat Pulev declines his opportunity to fight the winner of the upcoming Anthony Joshua Vladimir Klitschko fight as the mandatory challenger, then David Hay would actually be next in line to step in and take Kubrat Pulev's place and get a shot at the winner of the uh, Joshua Klitschko fight. I'm going to quote Mr. Tucker directly here. He says, Joshua asks to fight Eric Molina. We approved that fight with the condition that the winner had to fight Pulev. They came back with this unification, which takes priority over the mandatory, so we have to wait. Whoever wins between Klitschko and Joshua, we're expecting them to fight Pulev next. If Pulev declines, then whoever is sitting at number three, they would get the first choice or refusal. And we would continue down the list. Klitschko is number three and Hay is number four. Theoretically, yes, it would go to Pulev and Hay, assuming Hay was available and wasn't contracted to fight somebody else. So those are the words of Mr. Lindsay E. Tucker talking about the possibility of David Hay becoming the mandatory for the IBF. Now, the reason I actually quote this guy and bring this up is because Kubrat Pulev so far hasn't seemed too keen on stepping in the ring with Anthony Joshua. He could have fought Joshua last year. He was approached on numerous occasions by Eddie Hearn. Hearn made it very clear that Kubrat Pulev was the first choice, really, for him to face Anthony Joshua. But Pulev declined. There's even a video of Eddie Hearn. I think he's in Germany. It might have been an Arthur Abraham fight. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's an IFL video, I believe, or maybe a seconds out video of Eddie Hearn confronting Kubrat Pulev and saying, why won't you fight Joshua? And Pulev just sheepishly smiles and walks away. Maybe he was waiting to become mandatory. Maybe he thinks that at the negotiating table, things are going to be more favourable for him. As a mandatory challenger, for example, there are no rematches unless you do something bizarre like Tyson Fury and sign a rematch clause for no reason which you don't have to but generally speaking when you are a mandatory challenger you can just win the belt if you win the fight and walk away off into the sunset you don't have to fight a rematch you're not obligated to do that so perhaps Kubrat Pulev has got that in mind perhaps he thinks that the split he'll get as mandatory challenger against Anthony Joshua will be bigger than the split they were offering him as a voluntary. Maybe that's the case. We'll find out in due course. But if he does decline, again, maybe he thinks he's not ready or whatever the case, David Hay stepping in. I mean, you really have got to hand it to David Hay in terms of being a mover and shaker behind the scenes. Because how on earth you manage to get into a mandatory position for the WBO. And I'm not sure if he still is mandatory in the WBO. There are kind of conflicting reports about that. Some people say it's Huey Fury. Some people are saying it's David Hay. There's a little confusion there. But with the IBF, there's a potential of him becoming mandatory challenger. How the hell is he able to do this kind of stuff? Fighting the level of opposition that he's been facing lately. People like Mark DeMori and Arnold the Cobra Jurgi. The fact he's able to get way up in the rankings without fighting anybody the way that he does is testament to his ability behind the scenes <laughs> doing whatever he does to get these type of rankings. Maybe it really is just a case of money and he don't have to do much behind the scenes. The sanctioning bodies know that he brings paper in and he puts fans on seats. So maybe that's all it is, or maybe it is more political and he is moving and shaking behind the scenes and he knows the right handshake and he knows the right people and he has all the right connections. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a bit of both. So drop your comments in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good thing first and foremost? I know people like me often criticize the method by which certain fighters end up getting title shots. But with all that aside, there's a lot of people who, regardless of how Hay gets into these positions, they would love to see David Hay versus Anthony Joshua. And if Joshua does beat Klitschko and Pulev declines the mandatory opportunity, I'm sure that once the fight is signed, there'll be very few people complaining about Anthony Joshua fighting David Hay. 
most people will probably be happy for that fight to happen. Maybe you're in that group or maybe you're in a group who feels like David Hay should have to earn his opportunities and as good a fighter as he is, he doesn't deserve to skip over all these other fighters who have actually done it the hard way and earned their rankings in the ring. So whatever side of the fence you sit on, let me know in the comment section below. It's Hatman, I'm out.